This is a disputed stretch of land along the Mediterranean Sea inhabited mainly by Palestinians. Thousands of rockets coming from Gaza have rained down on Israelis since early Saturday morning local time. Terrorists also breached the border with Israel, killing and capturing civilians and Israeli soldiers alike. Hundreds have died in and around Gaza as the Israeli retaliation has begun. Joining us with what we know now on the ground from the tri-state area, residents in Israel, and the impact to our local Jewish and Palestinian community. Pix Lemons, Henry Ross. At Henry. Uh, Kaidi, good evening. This attack on Israel by Hamas terrorists caught everyone off guard, including local visitors to Israel I spoke with today. And that includes a member of the PIX11 family who's there now. It comes as many Jews in Israel and abroad are in the middle of a holiday weekend. It's the 50th anniversary of the Yom Kippur War, and that's the last time enemy soldiers marched into Israel. Air raid sirens continue to echo across Israel as thousands of rockets launched by Hamas terrorists in the Gaza Strip hound the Jewish state. Some, but not all, are intercepted by the Iron Dome defense system. If there was no Iron Dome, we would not be having this conversation right now. And that is a fact, and that is what is absolutely horrifying. Former PIX11 reporter Rebecca Solomon shared this video as she rushed into a room that doubles as a bomb shelter. She's visiting her husband's family with their seven-month-old and says the country was caught completely off guard. I can't even comprehend how Hamas can hurt innocent people, but here we are. It's a war, and there's going to be a lot of problems in the coming days and weeks. And, you know, I'm just here to protect my daughter and be with my family. Solomon reports that as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu begins the counteroffensive, more Hamas rockets are ranging farther and farther into Israel, including the Tel Aviv area, where she is, about an hour from Gaza. The true terror seems to be because of the incursion by Hamas ground forces into residential neighborhoods. Terrorists came into the houses looking for people to kill, to kidnap, they burned the houses. The United States stands with Israel. We will not ever fail to have their back. We'll make sure that they have the help their citizens need and they can continue to defend themselves. Back home, the NYPD is beefing up its presence around Jewish houses of worship and certain Palestinian sites, including the mission in New York City. Officers are already on high alert with the Jewish holiday of Sukkot ending with celebrations this weekend. Local groups, including the Jewish Federation of Northern New Jersey, are buttoning up their security protocols, planning rallies of support, and demanding American leaders stand with Israel. We've notified all the local law enforcement. We're making sure our synagogues, our day schools, our Jewish institutions are safe. Perspective about what this war could look like. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning not long ago saying civilians of Gaza should leave because this will impact every part of that area.